Okay, here's viola excerpt number two. So at the top of the page, we have these triple stops. So I don't want you to play more than two notes at once. Um, if you're on the outside, you could either play or the top two notes, this uh, double stop chord. But only if you're if you can play those in tune. If you're on the inside, play the bottom note. And it's very important when you get to those eighth notes that you bounce the bow. Now, in the next measure, you have the up bow, but they're but they're all hooked. So, um so you've got to go And it's almost like you set the bow and then scoop it. The double stop is. But I want you to play to VC. Okay, so that's the articulation on that one. Then you have a quick pits. And then an up bow. Here, if you're on the top, it's open A. And then three. So you have the melody there at K, and um, the fingerings that I used, if you're on the outside, three, two, three, and then I shifted up to third position, two, one, one, three, and then I'm going to put an X4 for extend four. That's up where your harmonic is. And then just bring it back to a regular four for G. Three, two, one. Stay in third position. Cross over to the A string. Two, or you could play open A either way. Um, three, two, three, four. Reach up for the extended four. Three, four, two, one, two, three, one. So that uh, starting at K, it goes, sounds like this, shift, reach, then we're back to alto cleft. Then we're back to alto clef. And then 16th notes. Now let's go um, to the bottom line and talk about our fingerings for that line. So if you're playing the bottom line, um, the note names are written, written in for you, but you would play uh, open D three, high three on the G string, open D, one on the D, open D. Uh, open D, two on the D string, and then you've just got a A, I'd probably play fourth finger rather than open A. Three on the D, two on the D, one on the D, open D. One on the G, two on the D, one on the D, two on the D, three on the D, four, two, three, one, open, one, two, open. And then you go back to alto cliff. So starting at letter K, if you're on the bottom, <laughs> Clef. Okay, I'll do that one more time from K. Okay, 
so then at letter L, we're just doing 16th notes. If you're on the outside, one, if you're on the inside, when we get to the um, treble clef part, if you're on the top, you go, and then if you're um, on the next to top note, you go, I'll do that again. Low four, open A. And then if you're on the note below that, you'll go. Okay, I'll do that again. Okay, and then if you're playing the bottom. to our run, we cross our bow over to the C string. Okay, so this part at the end that's in treble clef, this part right here, um, the fingering that I am doing is three, three on the A, three, one, two, shift to third, one, and then go two, three, four, shift, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, one, now we're in third position, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so let me write that in, shift to third position here, and then go two, three, four, and then shift again, one, two, three, four. So it'll go. And then the rhythm at the end. Now the last chord, you can either play one note at a time or top two or bottom two. 